read some books. Seek health. Help. Because I'm going to tell y'all something. For those of y'all that's watching me, that coding, coding, coding bullshit ain't going to work for everybody in the hood. Especially when you got mental health, health, health issues. And see, that's the thing that everybody want to overlook in the hood. The hood is filled with people that has mental health issues. Coding ain't going to fix that. The hood needs healing. You can't just give a dude a hug. That them been tormented. And tormented. And tormented. To the age. Where, to where he gets to the. I mean think about it. Right. K.I. was. One of the most notorious hitters. That Chirac had. She. Female. She. She. Died at what? Was it 15 or 17? What conditions damaged her mental state to have her out there? She was one of the illest. She, she's a female, was one of the illest hitters. Oh, my God. I felt like I lost seven brain cells watching that video. I, I'm like, damn. And he made you watch it to the end. Um, so, Hassan Campbell... Uh, is all that's wrong with black America right now. Because, yeah, you do represent that typical, ignorant, stereotype nigga that just can't get his mind right, that has health issues. And, yeah, the, the hood does have mental health issues. And you represent it. You are the, the franchise poster boy of all that's what's wrong with black America in the trenches. Uh, coding. He says that coding, that coding bullshit. And like I said, he, he can't, he's going to continue to take shots at Kwame. He, he talked about the... Uh, this ain't that country swag. I just can't believe y'all actually gave this cat a platform. And that video did like 55,000. I'm not hating. I'm just like, damn, y'all really? Because it's, a lot of people are enthusiastic about that. They get excited about watching somebody get their TV turned off. And, oh, so-and-so was a big hitter. And all this shit. You know, if I want to hear about shit like that, I'll read Sun Tzu, the, the Art of War or something like that. I don't care about all of that. You know what I mean? Oh, this one, that one, all this, you know, hood news that he always drops. That's not helping advance or move anybody forward in the black community. That toxic shit Hassan Campbell be preaching don't help nobody. That's 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 that ignorant stoop news. You know what I'm saying? Let's sit on the porch and let's just talk about who got shot last night. That shit ain't helping. And, that, and it honestly is getting stale and it's getting old. Now, as far as coding goes, coding can help the hood as far as young kids. I don't know about all you old niggas that's still, you know, 40-something years old acting like you're 25. Um, but for the young kids, that could help them out. And just having a trade, period. I know they took trade schools out. I went to a trade school, actually. My high school had a trade school. Um, but, I mean, hell, we just came off a pandemic. In 2020, if you had any kind of trade, I don't care if it was uh, you knew how to fix cars or hell, I don't care if you knew how to cut hair. If you knew how to cut hair in 2020, you was you was good. Because remember, niggas couldn't get haircuts for like five months. Niggas was looking crazy out here. And the niggas that had trades, that had skills, was able to maneuver and get money outside of just stimulus checks and, and unemployment. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with having a trade. Because there, there are way too many unskilled black men in the hood. Uh, some by choice because they just dropped out of school and some because the schools they went to just didn't have the resources for them to have that. They told us our generation to go to college and we went to college and now you got all these educated black men and, and women who don't have much of a skill set. You just got that piece of paper that says I went to school and it's not enough. It's not enough. When you got people out here working two jobs, still trying to get by, people taking loans, people still staying home with their mama. This shit is real. And like I say, you could sit there and knock Kwame all you want, you know, but he's saying something that actually can help advance black people and help us get move forward and get out of the trenches. And meanwhile, uh, Hassan Campbell up there looking like a fat Razor Ramon with them fucking popcorn muscles. At this point, he ain't even got no muscles. This shit just look like, you know, water jugs. You ain't saying shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Up there talking about Lil Durk and the home invasion. Look, Lil Durk is going to do what he's going to do. He's going to do. I just don't like it when y'all try to come up with all these conspiracies uh, when, you know, gang members, uh, rappers involved in gangs 
uh, get shot. Oh, so and so got sacrificed, and this one got shot. No, let's just call it what it is. They got shot because that's the lifestyle they was living. It might not sound as exciting or as appealing or as entertaining, but that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, I, I think Hassan Campbell does have mental issues, and he gets way too excited. It seems like he gets turned on when he hears about some shit like that. You could see the passion in his voice. You know, so and so about to get their snot box rocked off, and all that. Other, they gonna get their check cashed, and that's like, nigga, do you? <laughs> I'm like, God. You know, I, I was really hoping you would have turned your TV off on Sunday, nigga, on that live feed when you was kicking that drunk shit. But, I mean, yeah, that's it there. He, he's going to continue to take petty shots at Kwame. Oh, that code and bullshit won't work. Because you mad? Because you didn't he just say he would put up $100,000 to open up a trade school? And he, he put up all that, the, the $100 bills, he put up like 12 of them and said he was going to, you know, donate. Now you saying the code and won't work. Like, make up your mind, bro. He he says some of the most condescending shit out of his mouth. I don't understand the nigga. And like I say, all the cats that subscribe to him, most of them have that mentality. So they're going to keep egging him on. But nah, that, that wasn't the right one. That, that video was, that was hard to watch. <laughs> that was hard to get through. And be like, well, why did you watch it? Because I heard what he said. That's why I watched it. Smart asses. Oh, why you Look. Y'all can keep watching Hassan Campbell, you know, and all y'all want. It is what it is. Anybody can watch who they want to watch. I just, nah. He's all, he represents everything that is wrong with black America. Especially when you got a 40-something-year-old black man talking like that. I wish I would be 40-something years old getting on YouTube gossiping about uh, what, young, what young niggas is, is shooting at each other. Half them boys is half your age, bro. I'm pretty sure a little dirt probably don't have a clue who the fuck you even are. <laughs> you describing in detail about all these hitters and who had this Glock and that Glock. And I'm like, bro, he never grew up. He never grew up. You're 44, but you're like 22. You know, like you didn't grow up. I, I really feel sorry for that brother, for real. He's sad, you know, but yeah, coding will help uh, if it's, done the right way coding can help trades i don't care if you're a plumber and that's the thing in the hood we glorify drug dealers and all this other shit and niggas will laugh at somebody if they a plumber niggas will laugh at somebody if they an electrician or if they uh a landscaper or something like that a honest living by ignorant niggas in the hood is looked down upon like oh this nigga a sucker he a square he got a job <laughs> you know what i'm saying so Nah, to me, people like Hassan Campbell is what holds us back. He ain't helping you move forward. I mean, if you want to watch him for entertainment, go ahead. You know what I mean? You more than likely, but that shit is not... Kwame is entertaining and he's helping push the mindset forward, at least right now. You know, things ain't in motion right now, at least. Could be. I'm not sure. I'm not Kwame, but uh, nah, it's just... Hassan Campbell, that, that was the dumbest shit you said, boy. For real. I don't know if he was drunk again, but he's tripping. <laughs> he's bugging. Something is really wrong with that guy, man. The coding will not help. He said that's not, that's not going to help all the niggas in the hood. Well, everybody's not going to do it. Everybody doesn't work at fucking McDonald's. Everybody doesn't work at the, the local plant. Everybody's not going to do it. But yeah, if you could get a good amount of kids, black kids, to do coding, it would help out. Because then what if those kids... Uh, become bosses, then they can hire other black kids, other black adults. You know, I always said there's no real such thing as black business until you can hire other black people. When you can employ other black people, that's when you really in black business. You know, so it is what it is. He's an asshole. He's stupid. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about Kwame uh, Hassan Campbell saying that that coding bullshit is not going to help the hood. <laughs>